Hi Leo, it's Michelle from The Guided Intuitive and thank you so much for being here. Uh, so I'm getting out the rest of the monthlies right now, okay? So for all of you that, all my subscribers, I love you all. Uh, just note that I have been going through some huge changes in life, uh, you know, between my job and updating certifications uh, on that. Uh, taking classes and going through uh, and moving, uh, kind of find out where I want to go next. So all of that has been a little cray cray, okay? <laughs> just to say the least, okay? But all is well. Uh, what I'm going to do is I might be just be a little late within this month uh, and just note that and then I'll just work things in um, as I move forward. So just, uh, you know, do note that. Now this is going to be a general read for all Leos. I'm a Leo rising, so I'm waiting for this too. Uh, and we're going to see what wants to come up. But uh, um, all Leo, some moon rising as well as your Venus signs will be for this read, okay? Uh, we'll, we'll make it for June 7th until the end of the month, but I'm just going to label it for the month of June. Uh, you know, give or take and see how the energies ride for you. Um, we'll see what wants to come up, okay? Uh, please continue your likes, subscribes, and shares, and please note your comments below. I do appreciate that. And if you'd like a personal read, I tell you, you all have been keeping me so busy, and I so appreciate that. Oh, wow, it's been amazing, and I love meeting all of you. I uh, meet so many people from all over the world, and you all are fascinate me, okay? <laughs> and you definitely keep me on my toes, all right? So let's see what's in store for you for the month of June. So we have got message from afar, Leo, okay? So this is interesting. So this is something that is your, your, you may know someone or something that is about to take place. And this is someone that is, uh, that is from afar from you. So it could be a significant other, a person of interest of, in you. Um, I just want to see what comes up because this is a general read and I, I kind of want to see what comes up, but there is some sort of electric current, some sort of passionate electric current that is coming from afar. Um, so perhaps there's been a spark that's been ignited and you're finally getting a message coming in uh, or they're getting, I, I think there's a message that's coming into you, okay? And it's a, it has to relate to a passion of yours, whether you're passionately interested in this person or perhaps um, there is a strong connection, all right? And, uh, but it is, uh, it's, 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 it's kind of guided from the divine, quite frankly. Uh, but it is a divine connection and it does have a lot of passion and uh, it's, it's, it's set to ignite. What can I say? There's a lot of electricity there. So it could be a passion project. It could be a person, you know, that you're passionate about or a situation that you're passionate about too. Okay. So it's a message from afar. So this person or thing or situation may not be near you. Uh, and when you get this information, uh, either you're going to be from afar or this uh, message will come to you uh, from a place from afar. Uh, but uh, there you have it. So you might not live close to that other person. Perhaps it could be too. All right. Let's see what else wants to come out. Uh, <laughs> okay. Not surprised. Okay. We've got a tantric union here. Okay. And I didn't even mean for this to come up. But you just you just never know what wants to come up in the cards. Um, but this is saying that there is some sort of electricity that's going through you. There's no doubt about it between two people, all right? Uh, there is some sort of union that is coming into play. And you see this same, uh, you know, kind of spark and less electricity there. You see the same thing that is outlining these two people here. So there's some sort of divine union that is coming together, okay? And it was meant to be... In, in, in some way, in some way, you know, shape or form. But it's a special union. It's a soul kind of union uh, where your souls can really speak to each other. It's almost as if it's kind of telepathic as well, uh, where you just get each other and you just know and um, you can speak a language without almost saying anything at all, okay? And so that's what I'm getting coming through. It's that type of union that is so special, all right? So note your comments below, and we'll see what wants to come up still here, all right? Yeah, it's some, so you've got some sort of connection, uh, spiritual connection. And that's when I talk about, you know, mystic. Um, there is a mystic kind of connection, you know, that is divine between both of you here that is bringing you two together. And it's almost as if that you learn from each other. There is a sense of perception. You can kind of perceive each other in a different realm and not even just on this physical realm. Uh, and it's a very special, uh, unique situation uh, and connection. And this is saying is to dive into that within yourself, dive into the exploring that situation, uh, you know, person, place or thing, 
uh, get more information and uh, it's, it's, it's going really into the deep levels of, of the divine and uh, it, it, it's quite beautiful to say the least. It's beyond words is all I can say, all right? So note your comments below because I'd like to know. Yeah, there is some sort of celebration and it's almost as if you know the dove serves as a, a symbolism of love, faith, hope, and peace. And it's almost as if you're, you're kind of ascending. So this situation, this person or this thing is ascending, right? And it's actually right on target. It's on target with what the divine has in store. The, the, the timing of this is, is all involving the divine as well, right? You'll hit your target, but in divine timing, right? So I think that's what's coming into play here, that you're definitely rising to that next level, that next step, uh, you know, whatever that is. And there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of love. Let's see what else oh, comes about. Yeah, there's been a spiritual growth. This ascension has been for both of you, okay? Now, it could be you two together, but I think it's you two separately growing and is bringing this uh, spiritual growth. And you're, you're both kind of, a, kind of emerging to her now that you've got wings to give this relationship, situation, or this project, uh, of, you know, being able to take off, okay? And it's, you're, it's something that you're incredibly passionate about. There's no doubt about it. But it's that spiritual growth that you're both stepping into your own. You're bringing that growth with you as it pertains to this connection to move forward. And that's why this is so strong. This is why it turns into that like, kind of like that, that, that connection that is so electrifying. Okay? So that's what I'm seeing here. So let's see what else wants to come out for you as well. Ah, the moon tree. So this is almost as if that you know that this relationship, you might not even have, 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 have seen each other. You might ever uh, have, maybe you've communicated online or perhaps that uh, you know um, in some way, shape or form without even in, in, in seeing or knowing that this is a solid relationship. This is a solid situation, even though everything is completely hidden, okay? It's almost as if you've got faith and you're just kind of trusting it and moving forward, okay? You're rising and growing and moving on your own, Leo, and you're coming into your own. Uh, so is this other person. And even though that you didn't have answers as to what was going on their side and they not knowing yours, I think that this is, there is a, a, a some sort of strong foundation and it, that is is uh, that is uh, is unknown and undetected that really makes this uh, something very very solid. Even though a lot of things are hidden, you can't be seen. It's it's at the trunk of this tree. It's so solid, wide, and stable that I I, I think that this is saying that uh, that that the, the things that are hidden can also give you the strength. Uh, and, and provide the strength to move forward, okay? And provide the timing when it's right to move forward. So that's what I see coming through for you over here. It's quite interesting, right? And it, it, it took stepping back and retreating, and it could have been you uh, having to step back and retreat and connect with yourself and move on forward with what it is that you needed to do to be strong in yourself and to really celebrate you, uh, let alone celebrate the situation together. But it was taking a time out to find out what you really wanted in your heart so you could move forward knowing that you're achieving your heart's desire and whatever that is, right? So it's almost as if that you had to let your garden bloom first, go within, find out what it is that you wanted, Leo, so then you could move forward and catapult into that next situation and that next level. But it took a retreat. It could, if it was in a relationship, you both had to definitely retreat and be apart to experience this growth. I think is what it is. Okay, let's see what else wants to come out here for you. The soul trees, what they have. Yeah, it's about stepping back. Okay, after this, you know, move after this, you know, kind of uh, uh, this retreat that you had, and so you can move forward in 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 celebrate. But it, it, you had to try a new approach, okay? You had to do something different that wasn't in your pattern that you had done before. And I think that you had learned to, you know, really tap in with the divine, right? And ask for the guidance in this process because so much was left unknown. And you had to try kind of a new approach. There's no doubt about it. You had to, 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 you had to make a change and you had to do something new to get a different result as it pertains to your situation, your career, your project, your love life, okay? So know what you did below that did that. Now it might have to do with communication. It might have to do with your root chakra and your foundation. 
Maybe you took care of your foundation. Maybe you communicated differently. Uh, and that had led into this uh, opportunity, uh, you know, that to get this message, right, that can be, you know, celebrated. But there was a, a spiritual growth that definitely had to take place, uh, you know, to bring this union about. What else is going to help you in this process that the soul trees can provide? Collaborating, right? Working together, not working alone, but collaborating. Collaborating on communication together, right? It's It, it, it takes two to communicate. You can't just uh, be that one person and try to sustain, let's say, a relationship, sustain a work relationship, a business relationship, that type of thing. It's about communicating and getting, the, getting that out is going to be key. So maybe it's the way and the shape and form you communicated, uh, whether subliminal uh, you know, psychically, telepathically, or, uh, you know, just, uh, by just standing in your own and focusing on what it is that you needed to do for you. Okay. So that could be that too. All right. So note your comments. What else? Yeah. That's for that, that transformation, that beautiful transformation, the way you communicated, you use the spirit communication is the throat chakra is the blue. Uh, this is your sixth chakra. And this talks about, um, really focusing on intertwining both of those to transform the situation that led, you know, to this celebration and in and, and, and union, okay? This union could be a, a passionate union of whatever that is for you, okay? Again, a person, you know, is shining up here, but it could be a union of, a, of something you're completely passionate about or, you know, a situation. Uh, but this is quite beautiful. So, so there you have it. I hope that resonated with you in some way. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you in the month of July. Uh, and until then, namaste.